We've covered the ABCs, the clicks and e-commerce report and bid adjustment views. But admittedly, they are still pretty similar to what you're getting over in AdWords. Where analytics starts to shine is when you start to dig for deeper opportunities and work with the additional features such as advanced segments. Now, advanced segments are powerful because they dig a layer deeper beyond the aggregated or top level data, which we see by default and isn't particularly actionable. By that, I mean you can't improve your marketing, your sales or your website using just the top level data alone. And to be fair, that's pretty true of most analytics tools. In fact, my pet peeve is when you load Google Analytics, it dumps you on the audience overview report, which is close to useless. Yes, you can spot broad trends on this view, but not much else is there. Advanced segments are one of the most important and valuable features. You need to get to grips with them uh, and use them going forwards. So with a deeper understanding of segments, you'll be able to layer and structure your report views to your specific needs. If advanced segments are new to you, essentially they allow you to take any report view in Google Analytics and apply conditions to filter every report to match the conditions you set. In essence, we have the ability to build cohorts, i.e. those visitors that have the same defining characteristics such as demographics, location, device, device resolution, and so on and so forth and then show the relevant information for that segment of people only. Google provides a selection of segments by default, such as uh, bound sessions, uh, new versus returning, converters, and mobile traffic, to name but a few. So let's take one for example. Here's the sessions with conversion segment. Let's jump over to the audience and geographic location report and then let's let's see what this segment looks like. We can see which areas of the world in each country down to regions and cities drive conversions, removing from view any traffic that didn't include a conversion. So that's a useful out the box segment. But much like other segments they're they're a bit one size fits all and let's face it, we're all unique. I just want to point out as well, you'll notice that if I just click the segments again, there are stars next to some of the segments here. Those are favorites, which you can add simply by clicking on and toggling the star icon on and off. If you have a lot of custom segments, which you probably will do after this course, um, then favoriting segments can make your life easier, just sorting through them and finding them. Let's take the training wheels off, break away from the defaults and best practices in quotation marks and instead personalize the data to your business. So we're going to cover that in the next section when we build advanced segments together. This will include some real world examples of how you can apply these segments to your business. So that's enough talk, let's go build.